There are over 115 aged women living at the Gushegu Witches Camp in the northern region of Ghana. Early in the morning, house cleaning and cooking is a common scene. But others like this make ropes out of cotton. Some, like this woman, does the cooking in the room she sleeps. Their food is normally made up of millet and corn with green leaf soup, but with no meat or fish. This is what they eat every day. Getting food to eat is as dehumanizing as picking leftovers on the refuse. These accused women sweep the market after every market activity and gather the sand with food particles. Some also go under trucks delivering food at the market, putting their lives in danger. At the camp, the particles are separated using a sieve. What is gotten is used as food. The accused women receive every three months 10 Ghana cities from the Social Welfare Department as a support from the state, but it is always not enough to cater for the women who do not work. What we are paying is for November, December last year. And then we still have six months arrears to pay. Government is mobilizing money to pay them. And as where and when the money comes, we will come and pay them. When the PV is available and the cash is available, we will come and then pay them. And normally, the payment is done between July up to December. So when we pay July up to December, whatever month that is not paid is stand as arrears, is as arrears, and will be paid the following year. The Gushegu community, as told by Abukari, who normally takes care of the accused witches, mostly fear competition, especially regarding property sharing between wives. Some find ways and means of labeling a stepmother as a witch in order to have her leave the matrimonial home forever. Witchcraft is something which existed for so long, and it has been practiced all over in the North region. It's all religious bodies which has come down just to talk to people to not to have that kind of belief but still about 70 percent of the entire community members in the district still have the belief that there's witchcraft so the perception of women or people in Gushewo township against the, the, the witches is also about 30 percent some still be, believe that there's witchcraft and they don't even want them to come near to them even to talk of the women is so bad when they meet one another in the grinding mill to mill their food stuff, they will not even want to mingle themselves with the women. They sometimes doesn't even want them to touch their food stuff. Once at the camp, there is no coming back to settle in the community. They could be lynched by angry youth. Reported that most of them do not want to move and from the witch camps because they feel it has become their home. Or when they go back to their homes and they are, they are sent back, they'll be discriminated against. They'll still be seen as witches and treated as such. So they find there as a refuge more than to go back home. So it is difficult to move the, the, the uh, residents themselves, which makes it difficult um, to say that you are um, clearing up the witch camp. So that is one, of, one big factor. Another one is that um, people feel that um, once they are there, they are protected. So it is more of protection that I'm there, nobody hits me, nobody insults me, which makes it easier for them to do their daily um, activities. The only problem is the condition of the of, of the. Sometimes family members visit their parents at the camp. This young boy brought some items to his mother. He is not schooling because no one will take care of him, thus he farms. <laughs> Are you a witch? was a question to the Magajia, the camp leader. <laughs> The 
But I'm married to Kodor Konga. And then they will In the night, the women sleep in threes and fives in the same room where they have their belongings, fire tripod, and firewood. The only form of entertainment at the camp is songs sung by these women clapping their hands, jumping on their feet, and hitting their back together. Despite the Gender and Social Protection Ministry's directive of closing down all witches camps, the practice still continues. A little more conducive, but the other witch camps have um, a lot of problems like lack of water, lack of food, no school for the children to go to, and all of that. So it is about making sure that they are conducive um, um, resources or conducive um, amenities for these um, people, then these residents have amenities to stay there comfortably and find the place um, more um, useful than to clear it off. Because it's a refuge, if you ask me, for them. This is just one of the witch camps in the northern region of Ghana where women are treated inhumanely and have no food to eat and a convenient place to lay their heads. <laughs>